Real quick, let's look at how to type math equations. If you're typing something really simple, 4 plus 2 equals 9 plus x, obviously you can just use the keyboard. If, on the other hand, you have some more complicated things that you would like to include in your equation, you're going to want to say insert and then equation. Okay? That'll open up for you a new set of options here, like multiplication and division symbols, right? And all these other weird ones as well. Fraction bars, square roots, right? Anything that you might want, for the most part, to type a math equation. So, for example, if I want to say the square root of 56 minus x equals 7 eighths, 7 over 8, right? I have all the symbols that I need to do that kind of stuff. Now, when I'm showing my steps to solve a problem, if I want to include most of a line, for example, I want I only want to change one thing. I usually control C, control V to get the equation on the line below and then I can just make the changes that I want to make. So for example on this one, although this is going to be kind of hard to do, I want to get rid of the square root symbol and square this side. So we'll have 49 over 64. Right, that would be my first move. And then for the next step, control C, enter, control V. Okay, now I want to be subtracting 56 from both sides. So I'll get rid of the 56 here, and I will subtract it there, and I'll get 55 points, negative 55 point something. Right, calculator at that point. Anyway, that is inserting a math equation. After you insert your first math equation, you can actually see this button up here, insert a new equation to insert any new ones that you want to on the page. Uh, but until you insert that first equation, uh, you have to come up to the insert button. All right.